All right, this is just a quick review of my brand new Elite screens. 110 inch Sable 2 frame with the Cinegray 3D. Just wanted to share this with uh, everyone on YouTube because I noticed there weren't a ton of videos about this exact size and screen combination on there, but uh, this is replacing a silver ticket screen that had some really terrible lines and crazy artifacts going on in it. Uh, this screen looks much better. It's extremely uniform. It's hard to see in this light, but not a single line or grain or any splotches or smudges or anything crazy like that. So real nice screen. There's right there, neat screens. But uh, anyhow, a little bit more involved with the springs to put it together, but honestly, very solid frame. Uh, excellent mounting system. The, the competition's mounting system is atrociously bad. Uh, this was just two simple brackets on the top. You screw to the wall. The screen hangs on top of it. There's a couple little brackets that you really can't see. Oh, right here. Little tiny brackets underneath. Hook into the back of the screen, pull down, screw into the wall. No way that's coming off the wall and it sits pretty flush. Doesn't vibrate or anything dumb like that, like I've had with other screens, so that's pretty cool too. I am using it in a moderate size home theater. This uh, 14 by 12 foot, nothing huge. But uh, I have a newer model projector, an Epson LS11000. Awesome 4K projector, by the way. Uh, got that hooked up. Let's see how this looks. Okay. Got some video on an Apple TV 4K. A little demo roll going here. But I'm using it on my LS11000 in uh, dynamic mode, 75% laser brightness. Anything more than that, you get a little bit of hot spotting and uh, speckling in the middle of the screen, but this is the perfect brightness. And honestly, I was running it 100% on my old screen. This one here has such good um, reflectivity and slightly higher gain that you don't even really need to do that anyway. So you can see the contrast is extremely good for a projector screen combination. Get a good focus on this. I mean, it's like looking at an OLED TV. This is probably about as good as it's gonna get for a less than $5,000 setup, I think. So, step back a bit. Other nice thing too, compared to using a white or just plain gray screen from the competition, is that now if I turn on my home theater lights, just a little halogen light fixture up there, but uh, turn it on, and of course it washes out just a tiny bit, but I mean, you can it's perfectly watchable. You can have the full bright lightness on, which is great if you're gonna have like some food or something in the home theater and you wanna be able to see for a little bit or you got little kids in here, so. Overall, uh, pretty pleased with this projection screen and uh, highly, highly recommend it. I picked it up uh, Amazon recently, just over 500 bucks. Definitely worth the premium. Thanks.